Ladies and gentlemen, it's my humble honor to introduce Dr. Abbas Goulet to come and address us. These are ladies and men of goodwill that are out there in the communities. People ask why does Kenya Red Cross respond very quickly? How come you are there every time this happens? I mean, I see addressing humanitarian crisis in Africa through partnership in different directions. We know what are the humanitarian uh, crises. I think it was a very good meeting. I think what was very refreshing is the fresh new angles, new conversations, very many were extremely provocative that we had and I think that for me was was new. This uh, uh, humanitarian partnership conference was organized uh, uh, in partnership with OCHA, uh, IAWG, Save the Children and uh, World Vision. And, and it, the theme that were discussed, three of them were very much aligned with the World Humanitarian Summit. I think the discussions in the, in the conference were more around local and national partnerships and in, in a humanitarian assistance context they are very very important. So what I'd like to see in the World Humanitarian Summit and in effect the changing environment of humanitarianism is the involvement of local partners in humanitarian response. I think we had very practical and actionable recommendations from all the sessions. Uh, one that uh, quickly comes to mind is the role of uh, community voices. Are we, are we taking sufficient time to listen to some of the solutions that community members are proposing? For us, uh, as you see, uh, a, a good partnership, or partnership is, is to expand uh, our uh, operation, our capacity to reach uh, the people, to increase the quality of our uh, response and uh, we're looking for partners uh, uh, who uh, respect the same uh, standards in terms of uh, principal action. So again, through development agency partnership. So partnership again here using development agencies. Perception that these are poor countries, we say as poor as we may be seen to be, we're not actually that poor. We're also very happy that uh, Save the Children um, came up with this meeting today to show the importance of partnership with not only the private sector and government but also with the institutions of higher learning, with the UN and with, uh, with even individual citizens of our countries. I think it was great, it was really well organised, we had excellent participation at, in all the sessions, the panellists, the, uh, the main plenary and I think the discussions were really vibrant. And to reduce the vulnerability and if partners rally around that strategy and we work together, I think that will be a very good way forward on how to end road emergencies in the country in future. I hope um, we will be bold as we you know, focus towards 2016 in just being able to very boldly and candidly change the conversations around what we want our world to be as related to humanitarian work. We are here to review the World Humanitarian Summit in 2016 and it does need review and I hope our contributions to this process will be bold and courageous and definitive for the people we work with.